This challenge question for the arithmetic reasoning subtest of the ASVAB and PyCAD says, Julia earns $68,000 per year and wants to begin investing her money. She figures she can afford to invest 40% of her salary. Of that, 60% will be invested in corporate bonds, while 40% will be invested in securities. If the corporate bonds and securities yield 7% and 12% annual interest, respectively, how much interest will Julia earn in one year? All right, so first, we're going to take this one step at a time. It says right here she makes $68,000 a year, and she wants to invest 40% of that. So to start, we're going to do 68000 times 0.4. Again, 0.4 is the decimal equivalent of 40%, and this will tell us how much she's going to be investing. Of course, uh, to do this math, we're going to move this decimal place one place to the right to make this 68,000 times 4, albeit with one decimal to move to the left. 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 8 is going to be 32, so bring down a 2, carry a 3. Uh, 4 times 6 is 24, 25, 26, 27. Bring our one decimal back in. Uh, so she's going to be investing $27,200 of her annual income. And again, she's going to split this two ways. 60% uh, of that amount is going to be invested in corporate bonds. And 40% of that amount is going to be invested in securities. So let's find... 60% of 27,200, and then we'll find 40% of 27,200. So we have 27,200 times 0.6. Again, move this decimal one place to the right to make this 27,200 times 6, albeit with one decimal to move back into the left. 0 times 6 is 0. 0 times 6 is 0. 6 times 2 is 12. Bring down a Bring down a 2, carry a 1. I don't know why my pen acted up there. 7 times 6 is 42. 43, carry a 4. 6 times 2 is 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. Bring in one decimal. So she's going to be investing 60% uh, of 27,200, which is 16,320. Uh, let's figure out how much 40% uh, of 27,200 is. You could do 27,200 times 0.4, but since we know these add up to 100, I'm just going to take uh, 27,200, and from that, I'm going to subtract 16,320. Again, doing subtraction is a little bit easier than doing math with the decimal. This is 0. 0 minus 2, we can't do, so we're going to borrow. This is going to be 1. This is going to be 10. 10 minus 2 is going to be uh, 8. Uh, 1 minus 3, we can't do, so we have to borrow. This becomes 6. This becomes 11. 11 minus 3 is uh, 8. 6 minus 6 is 0. 2 minus 1 is going to be 1. So this is 10,880. All right, let's keep working this out. Um, these are the amounts she's going to invest. And to find out how much interest she's going to earn on these investment amounts, we're going to use the simple interest formula. That is, interest is equal to principal times rate times time. And we're going to have to do that for both of these. Uh, in this case, we're told that corporate bonds yield 7% interest and securities yield 12% in annual interest. So let's go ahead and start plugging these things in. We're going to be solving for I in both cases. Uh, P is the amount you invest. So that's this amount right here. This is going to be 16,320. What is the interest rate? It's 7%. So this is times 0 0.07. 0 0.07 is the decimal equivalent of 7%. T is time. How long is th this investment? It's going to be one year, according to the problem. Uh, let's do the same thing over here. Again, she's investing her principal, which is 10,880. In this case, her interest rate is 12%, which is 0.12 in decimal form. And again, it's going to be for one year. Now, uh, multiplying anything by one just yields back itself. So we can actually cross out these ones. They don't impact the math whatsoever. So to get our answer, we're going to do this multiplication, this multiplication, and then we're going to add these two results together. So let's take our time as we do this. We have 16,320 times 0.07. 
Again, move our decimal one, one, two times to the right to make this uh, 16,320 times seven, albeit with two decimals to move back into the left. Zero times seven is zero. Seven times two is 14, carry a one. Uh, seven times three is 21, 22, carry a two. Seven times six is 42, 43, 44, carry a four. One times seven is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Bring in our two decimals, one, two. So we can see that this is gonna be 11, 42, 40. Let's go ahead and do this math over here. Again, we have 10,880 times 0.12. Move our decimal one, two times to the right. All right, so this becomes uh, 10,880 times 12, albeit with two decimals to move back in when we're done. Zero times two is zero. Uh, eight times two is 16, carry out one. Eight times two is 16, 17, carry a one. Zero times two is zero plus one is one. Two times one is two. Uh, add a zero placeholder before we get started. One times zero is zero. One times eight is eight. One times eight is eight. One times zero is zero. One times one is one. Let's add this all up. Zero, six, 15, carry a one. Eight, nine, 10, carry a one. Uh, three, one, bring in our two decimals. So this interest over here is 13.05.60. Let's add these two things together now to find out how much interest she's going to earn in total. This is going to be 13.05.60 plus 11.42.40. This is zero. Six and four is 10. Carry a one, bring down our decimal. Five, six, seven, eight, uh, four, uh, four, and two. So in total, she's going to earn $2,448 in interest, which is answer choice B. If you see a question like this on the ASVAB, it means you're going to be getting close to a very perfect score. So that is that one.